Good Friday morning. This is Kim Blaylock with SDG Bible Study, the Soli Deo Gloria Bible Study, coming to you on this 31st day of March, 2023. We are going to be continuing reading God's Word in a chronological order, reading from the One Year Chronological Bible. This morning we will begin in the book of Joshua, chapter 12, beginning with the seventh verse. So let's get into the reading of God's Word this morning. I hope you'll join me. Joshua chapter 12, beginning with verse 7. And these are the kings of the land whom Joshua and the people of Israel defeated on the west side of the Jordan from, from Belgad in the valley of Lebanon to Mount Halak that rises toward Seir, and Joshua gave their land to the tribes of Israel as a possession according to their allotments in the hill country, in the lowland, in the Arabah, in the slopes, in the wilderness, and in the Negev, the land of the Hittites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. The king of Jericho won, the king of Ai, which is beside Bethel won, the king of Jerusalem won, the king of Hebron won, the king of Jarmuth won, the king of Lachish won, the king of Eglon won, the king of Gezer won, the king of Deber won, the king of Geder won, the king of Hormah won, the king of Arad won, the king of Libna won, the king of Adalim won, the king of Makeda won, the king of Bethel won, the king of Tapua won, the king of Hefer won, the king of Aphek won, the king of Lasheron won, the king of Madon won, the king of Hazor won, the king of Shimron Maron won, the king of Akshaph won, the king of Tanak won, the king of Megiddo won, the king of Kadesh won, the king of Jochnium in Carmel won, the king of Dor and Napheth Dor won. The king of Gom in Galilee won. The king of Terza won. In all, 31 kings. Joshua chapter 13. Now Joshua was old and advanced in years. And the Lord said to him, you are old and advanced in years, and there remains yet very much land to possess. This is a land that yet remains, all the regions of the Philistines and all those of the Geshurites, from the Shihor, which is east of Egypt, northward to the boundary of Ekron. It is counted as Canaanite. There are five rulers of the Philistines, those of Gaza, Ashdod, Ashkelon, Gath, and Ekron, and those of the of the Avim, in the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and Mirath, that belongs to the, to the Sidonians, to Aphek, to the boundary of the Amorites, and the land of the Gebelites, and all Lebanon, toward the sunrise, from Bel Gad, below Mount Hermon, to Lebo Hamath, and all the inhabitants of the hill country, from Lebanon to Misrath Maom even all the Sidonians. I myself will drive them out from before the people of Israel, only allot the land to Israel for an inheritance, as I have commanded you. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance to the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh. With the other half of the tribe of, of Manasseh, the Reubenites and the Gadites, and the Gadites received their inheritance. Excuse me. With the other half of the tribe of Manasseh, the Reubenites and the Gadites received their inheritance, which Moses gave them beyond the Jordan eastward, as Moses the servant of the Lord gave them from Aror, which is on the edge of the valley of, Ar of Arnon, and the city that is in the middle of the valley, and all the tableland of Medeba as far as Debon and all the cities of Sion, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, as far as the boundary of the Ammonites, and Gilead, and the region of the Geshurites, and the Maacathites, 
and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan to Selica, all the kingdom of Og in Bashan who reigned in Ashtaroth and in Idri. He alone was left of the remnant of the Rephium. These Moses had struck and driven out. Yet the people of Israel did not drive out the Geshurites or the Maacathites, but Geshur and Maacath dwell in the midst of Israel to this day. To the tribe of Levi alone, Moses gave no inheritance. The offerings by fire to the Lord God of Israel are their inheritance, as he said to him. And Moses gave an inheritance to the tribe of the people of Reuben, according to their clans. So their territory was from Aror, which is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and the city that is in the middle of the valley, and all the tableland by Medaba, with Heshbon and all its cities that are in the tableland, Debon and Bamoth Baal, and Beth Baal Meon, and Jahaz, and Kedemoth, and Mephath, and Kiriatham, and Sibma, and Zareth Shehar on the hill on the hill of the valley, and Beth Peor, and the slopes of Pisgah, and Beth Jeshemoth, that is, all the cities of the tableland, and all the kingdom of Sion, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses defeated with the leaders of Midian, Evi, and Rechem, and Zur, and Hur, and Reba, the princes of Sion, who lived in the land. Balaam also, the son of Beor, the one who practiced divination, was killed with a sword by the people of Israel, among the rest of their slain. And the border of the people of Reuben was the Jordan as a boundary. This was the inheritance of the people of Reuben according to their clans with their cities and villages. Moses gave an inheritance also to the tribe of Gad, to the people of Gad according to their clans. Their territory was Jazer and all the cities of Gilead and, the, and half the land of the Ammonites to Aror, which is east of Reba, and from Heshbon to Ramath Mizpah and Betonim, and from Maenaim to the territory of Deber, and in the valley Beth Haram, Beth Nimrah, Succoth, and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sion, king of Heshbon, having the Jordan as a boundary to the lower end of the sea of Chinnereth, eastward beyond the Jordan. This is the inheritance of the people of Gad, according to their clans, with their cities and villages. And Moses gave an inheritance to the half-tribe of Manasseh. It was allotted to the half-tribe of the people of Manasseh according to their clans. Their region extended from Maenaim through all Bashan, the whole kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jair, which are in Bashan, sixty cities, and half Gilead, and Ashtaroth, and Idri, Idri, the cities of the kingdom of Og, and Bashan. These were allotted to the people of Maker, the son of Manasseh, for the half of the people of Maker, according to their clans. These are the inheritance, inheritances that Moses distributed in the plains of Moab, beyond the Jordan, east of Jericho. But to the tribe of Levi, Moses gave no inheritance. The Lord God of Israel is their inheritance, just as he said to them. Joshua chapter 14. These are the inheritances that the people of Israel received in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the father's houses of the tribes of the people of Israel gave them to inherit it. Their inheritances, inheritance was by lot, just as the Lord had commanded by the hand of Moses for the nine and one half tribes. For Moses had given an inheritance to the two and one half tribes beyond the Jordan. But to the Levites he gave no inheritance among them. For the people of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and, and Ephraim. And no portion was given to the Levites in the land, but only cities to dwell in, with their pasture lands, for their livestock and their, and their substance. The people of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moses, they allotted the land. Then the people of Judah came to Joshua at Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite said to him, You know what the Lord said to Moses, the man of God in Kadesh Barnea, concerning you and me. I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land. 
and I brought him word again, as it was in my heart. But my brothers who went up with me made the heart of the people melt, yet I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land on which your foot has trodden shall be an inheritance for you and your children forever, because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. And now behold, the Lord has kept me alive, just as he said, these 45 years since the time that the Lord spoke the words to Moses, while Israel walked in the wilderness. And now, behold, I am this day 85 years old. I am still as strong today as I was in the day that Moses sent me. My strength now is as my strength was then, for war and for going and coming. So now give me this hill country of which the Lord spoke on that day. For you heard on that day how the Anakim were there with great fortified cities. It may, it may be that the Lord will be with me, and I shall drive them out, just as the Lord said. Then Joshua blessed him, and he gave Hebron to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, for an inheritance. Therefore Hebron became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, to this day, because he wholly followed the Lord, the God of Israel. Now the name of Hebron formerly was Kiriath Arba. Arba was the greatest man among the Anakim and the land had rest from war. Joshua chapter 15, verses 1 through 19. The allotment for the tribe of the people of Judah, according to their clans, reached southward to the boundary of Edom, to the wilderness of Zin at the farthest south. And their south boundary ran from the end of the Salt Sea from the bay that faces southward, it goes out southward of the ascent of the ascent of Akrabim, passes along to Zin, and goes up south of Kadesh Barnea, along by Hezron, up to Adar, turns about to Karka, passes along to Asmon, goes out by the brook of Egypt, and comes to its end at the sea. Where was it? This shall be your south boundary. And the east boundary is the salt sea to, to the mouth of the Jordan. And the boundary of the north side runs from the bay of the sea at the mouth of the Jordan. And the boundary goes up to Beth Hagla and passes along north of Beth Ar Araba. And the boundary goes up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. And the boundary goes up to Bedeber from the valley of Achor and so northward, toward, turning toward Gilgal which is opposite the ascent of Adumum, which is on the south side of the valley. And the boundary passes along the waters of En Shemesh and ends at En Rogel. Then the boundary goes up by the valley of the son of Hinnom at the southern shoulder of, of the Jebusite, that is, Jerusalem. And the boundary goes up to the top of the mountain that lies over against the valley of Hinnom. On the west, at the northern end of the valley of Rephium. Then the boundary extends from the top of the mountain to the springs of the water of Neftoah, and from there to the cities of Mount Ephron. Then the boundary bends around to Baala, that is, Kiriath Jerem. And the boundary circles west of Baala to Mount Seir, passes along to the northern shoulder of Mount Jerem, that is, Chesalon, and goes down to Beth Shemesh and passes along by Timnah. The boundary goes out to the shoulder of the hill north of Ekron. Then the boundary bends around to Shekaron and passes along to Mount Bala, Bala and goes out to Jemnil. Then the boundary comes to an end at the sea. And the west boundary was the great sea with its coastline. This is a boundary around the people of Judah according to their clans. According to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, he gave to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, a portion among the people of Judah, Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron. Arba was the father of Anak. And, and Caleb drove out from there the sons of Anak, Shisha and Heman Ahi, and Talmai, the, descend, the, the descendants of Anak, of Anak. And he went up from there against the inhabitants of Deber. Now the name of Deber formerly was Kiriath Sefer. And Caleb said, Whoever strikes Kiriath Sefer and captures it, to him I will give Aksha, my daughter, 
as wife. And Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, captured it, and he gave him Aksha, his daughter, as wife. When she came to him, she urged him to ask her father for a field, and she got off her donkey, and Caleb said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Give me a blessing, since you have given me the land, the land of the Negev. Give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. That's going to conclude our reading from God's word this morning in, the, in Joshua, as we see uh, the children of Israel are now in the promised land and the land is now uh, being allotted to them. And Caleb gets uh, the land that he was promised by Moses and God uh, way back when he brought back a good report uh, and trusted wholly in his God. And he was blessed for it. Hope you're trusting wholly in your God this morning. Hope you'll enjoy this Friday that God is giving us and give him the glory in it. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day here in North Carolina. And I hope it's beautiful where you are as well. Have a blessed day. Solely, Deo Gloria.